Hey crew, what's going on? Today we're making a full screen hero for our 300 sub special. Thank you so much for all of the subs and the love and the everything that you guys are putting into the channel. It's really awesome and I hope that this is helping a lot of people um, in, in return. So what we have today is the Airbnb website and you'll notice that um, as soon as you start scrolling, uh, you get into the content. And basically this happens at most screen heights and most screen widths. So if I make the screen maybe tablet sized and I start scrolling down, the same thing happens here. And all the way up to, uh, they, they decided to have just a regular hero here on uh, lower than 690 maybe? No, 720. Um, but uh, generally what we're trying to do is create uh, a full screen height hero. And this has been made possible. I was going to do it in code like I've been doing for the last maybe year and a half or so. But uh, between my deciding to do this, I've come across this gem of a plugin uh, that was made by Ali um, and is available to all of you. Uh, so I'm going to add this in the description below where he uses the same tool uh, to create basically this Nike uh, header. Um, sort of image that he found on Instagram. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the description. You guys go ahead and check out his site if you wanna learn more about the plugin, but it's really simple to use, amazingly simple to use. And we're gonna do that over here, okay? So let's start with a blank page um, that I should have done, <laughs> deleted all the stuff before I started the video, but whatever. With 1200, not fixed width, and preset page full width to make sure that it always takes up the full width of your screen whatever you have and let's put in a group and let's make this group a background color um, of blue now we have a blue group center horizontally and we're gonna go ahead and make it small okay the smaller the better basically and we're gonna look for a plugin called uh, toolit so if you go to add plugins and you just type in toolit uh, it should come up and you install this one it, it gives you a lot of stuff uh, what we're looking at specifically today is this hero sizing element that you get with the plugin. So once you've installed it, you go back to your page, you should be able to see this hero sizing if you don't refresh the, refresh the page because Bubble's been being weird about plugins lately. But let's go ahead and we have this um, basically hero sizing element right here. And straight out of the box, um, you get a full screen height that resizes whatever group it's in or that resizes uh, itself. So let's go ahead and put one here and this one should now be the full height of our of our screen and then just below it we're gonna have this group that's going to be our content group where we start a content in this light green color that's unfortunate because it's such an ugly green and you'll notice here's our full screen full height blue group and right below it as we scroll down we're going to start seeing our content here. And that's basically all there is to it. Ali made it super easy for us to just go image, upload, and throw in our image. And then we're going to have our basically our group. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here's our full height image. And yeah, that went way too deep. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, there's an extra full height group in it. Two extra full height groups in it. Thank you, Bubble. Three. Oh my, how many are there? Okay, three. That's not too, too bad. Now let's refresh again. And here it is, our full height image and our content group underneath. Okay, so what we can do now is uh, remove this one. We don't need it anymore. This one will be full height and will automatically push this one down. And then here we can go to responsive and say, you just go ahead and uh, collapse margins at 4100 or whatever it is. Um, and it'll basically always take up the full width of the viewport. And now we have our picture and below it, we can have our content. Cool, cool. Uh, because this was supposed to be production and it's 300 subs, I'm gonna show you how to do something else that might be interesting. Let's put our, comment, our content group here and let's add a hero sizing right here. It doesn't matter what height it is because it'll always be the full height of the viewport. And instead of a, just a group for a picture, we're going to add a floating group. And this floating group is going to function in much the same way. We're going to copy our hero sizing over. We're going to put it here. We're going to shut the hero. We're going to put it up all the way to the top and we're going to say beneath the page. 
and we're going to say the background style is going to be an image, the same image that we just had, and then we're going to double click on our page, and we're going to say make sure that there's no background style so that we can see the floating group when we place it beneath the page. So let's preview that, and the floating group will stay fixed. Hello? Internet? And the floating group will stay fixed. Unfortunately, that's a really high resolution for whatever reason it is. Let's double click on here. Let's uh, crop the image, sure, make it as wet as a parent element. And let's review that. Boom, here's our floating group. And as we start scrolling down, we'll see the content come into view. Now your content will never be like 100 pixels, so it'll just add a nice effect if the content is large. Let's just add one of these to make the content large to the group and uh, you'll notice that you get this uh, scrolling effect that your image stays in the same position and your user just scrolls now into your content here. Okay, you have to make sure you have content all the way to the bottom of your actual page here. Obviously, otherwise it's gonna look weird when you see the hero image start again at the bottom. But this way, you basically have uh, your hero, all of your content, and then the user gets to the bottom of the page. This is just because it's debugger mode, I think. Okay, so now you're able to build really cool landing pages in a Jiffy, and uh, that was our 300 sub special. It was supposed to be a lot more complex because I was gonna use a bunch of code, but uh, we got this amazing plugin, so thanks again to Ali. And you guys let me know in the comments what you'd want for your 400 sub special. Is it going to be um, subscriptions? or is it going to be app languages? Um, so those are the two requests that I got recently. And those are, well, I'm gonna do one of the two for our 400 sub special. So let me know in the comments below. And other than that, have fun building out your landing page with the ability to create a full screen hero.